Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be going over who I think will most likely be our 1.6 rerun character, as well as a second, less likely potential rerun candidate to show up in 1.6. Unlike my prior prediction video, where I was sure Silverwolf was going to be the next up in 1.5, this time around, I have a very large hunch, but as I am not certain, I wanted to provide one other potential rerun option. Okay, let's get to it. The most likely rerun I predict we will see in 1.6 is Jingyuan. There are a few reasons I feel we will be seeing Jingyuan in 1.6. First off, as a complete opposite theory to my Silverwolf prediction, where I said she was coming back mainly due to her banner bringing in lots of money. Unfortunately, Jingyuan is maybe one of the least hyped reruns, considering his negative feedback from a large portion of the Honkai Star Rail community. Now please, don't roast me Jingyuan mains. I too am a Jingyuan enjoyer. I have an E1, and my Topaz will make him even better, right? Okay, so let me get to the point on this. In 1.6, we are seeing a massively hyped character, Rune Mei. And she being the first limited 5 star Harmony character, we should expect to see some massive, massive amount of pulls on this character. So having an underhyped character along with her won't negatively affect the financial outcome of this banner. The second reason why Jing Yuan is the next rerun is because of 1.5's two new relic sets, one of which will be a follow up attack focus set, which should really help out Jing Yuan, maybe even more than any other follow up attacker in the game. And those with Jing Yuan already, who acquire this new set in 1.5, it may generate some hype for our general here. Yes, there are other characters who can follow up, but this brings me to my final point. My final reason why Jing Yuan is the next rerun is simply because he is currently the oldest limited banner character in the game, who has not had a rerun yet. And we skipped over him for a more hyped character Silverwolf. And in comparison to Genshin, where their first rerun was a more hyped up unit, Tartaglia, they still reran Klee for their second rerun. Okay, now for the second potential candidate for the limited banner rerun in 1.6. For this, I feel like the second most likely is Kafka. The first reason for Kafka is the same as my second reason for Jing Yuan. The other new relic set in 1.5 should be buffing dot based characters. And Kafka is the queen of dots. She also pairs very well with Gwenyphon, who came out recently. When it comes to characters with a lot of hype around them, she is definitely up there. Maybe not for S plus tier meta, but for being the very first character you see in the opening cinematics, she looked super badass, and I know the community at the time was very hyped for her to be out. And I'm sure those new PlayStation players have been wanting to add her to their roster for a while now. I don't have much else to say on why I feel she will be out, as I do believe Jing Yuan is most likely to be up next, but if you have some other theories of your own, or agree with me, please leave a comment. And if you like this video, please subscribe. I have like 60 subscribers. That is all for now, and I wish you all luck on your 50-50s.